my name is Chris, and this is the Flaherty Lab. Come on in. Here in the Flaherty Lab, we combine, we combine classical uh, chemical engineering techniques together with modern spectroscopic techniques and other state-of-the-art engineering methods to counter the sustainability and energy demands of a growing population. So a day in the Flaherty Lab involves lots of experiments, well lots of experiments have lots of lab analysis. So we actually have one of our more senior grad students, Abanaya, working on some lab analysis right now. Hi Abanaya. So now that you see what our office looks like, let's take a look at one of the experiments I actually happen to be running right now. So at the moment, I'm trying to explore how the solvent structure changes as I flow a solvent over a catalyst. So this will help us inform some of our explanations of our reaction kinetics measurements that we make on analogous materials. So right here, I'm actually flowing solvent using a, a high performance liquid chromatography pump through an IR liquid flow cell which is actually going over, the solvent is flowing over catalyst over an internal reflection element. And this allows us to further explore and spectroscopically observe changes in the solvent structure as we change reaction conditions of the system. All right, well, thanks you all for listening to me. Now I'm gonna pass it off to my colleague, Zena, who's gonna describe some of the custom reactors that we've built in our lab. Hello, I'm Zeynep. I'm a fourth year in the Flaherty Group. And right now we're going to be taking a look at some custom-made reactor systems in the lab. So we're going to begin with a triple bed reactor system for the direct synthesis of hydrogen peroxide from hydrogen and oxygen gas. This begins with mass flow controllers that control the flow of oxygen and hydrogen gas, which come in contact with water that's pumped from these carboys. Then they contact a catalyst bed in this um, reactor. Then the products flow to be separated by a gas liquid separator and the gas is analyzed using a gas chromatograph while the liquid is analyzed using um, titration. So if we take a look at the color of these solutions, we can analyze them using UV vis spectroscopy to, to determine the concentration of hydrogen peroxide and then determine, to determine the performance of the catalyst in the reactor. So this next system is a high pressure hydrogenolysis system which consists of a pack bed reactor and is fully capable of fully automated pressure, temperature and gas and liquid flow control. Um, an online gas chromatograph is able to measure steady state kinetics for this reaction. So here we have a gas phase epoxidation system for which reactants are fed through these syringe pumps and the products are analyzed with the gas chromatograph. But this system also has an inline infrared spectrometer for operando measurements, so you can measure kinetics and see what's going on on the catalyst surface simultaneously. One of the biggest challenges of determining reaction mechanisms is identifying surface intermediates under in-situ conditions. We have a Raman spectrometer here, equipped with four different lasers, so four different wavelengths, to be able to identify different types of surface intermediates on the catalyst surface. We have three types of reactor cells. Two of them are used for gas and liquid phase measurements with temperatures that can go as high as 600 degrees Celsius. And our cryostat here can be used under ultra high vacuum conditions with temperatures as low as negative 268 degrees Celsius to identify the surface intermediates. This is our second lab space, and this space is dedicated to synthesizing catalysts for our different chemistries. This is where we store a bunch of our catalyst supports, including metal oxide and a bunch of metal precursors, as well as several zeolite frameworks. So let's go over here to look at some syntheses. Here, I'm currently synthesizing two catalysts for epoxidation. Both are titanium. Um, supported on silica. So next, my lab mate Richa will share her work with you. Hi all, my name is Richa and I'm a first year in the Flaherty Group and today I'll be talking about my project on electro-oxidations. So something we try to do here in the Flaherty Group is we want to take our knowledge of catalysis, surface science and spectroscopy and apply it to systems that can address real world problems such as our reliance on petroleum feedstocks. 
On the project that I'm working on, I'm looking at how to take biomass derived substrates and convert them into chemicals that are typically derived from petroleum based feedstocks. One unique aspect of this project is that typically other reactions in our lab are driven by a pressure or thermal gradient. However, my project is driven by a potential. And the way that we apply this potential is we use this potentiostat over here. Another unique aspect of this project is that I collaborate with five different groups on campus. This is something we do often in the Flaherty Lab is we collaborate with people inside and outside of the university. And the end goal of my project is to create an electrolyzer, which on one side will convert CO2 to fuels and chemicals, and the other side will convert biomass to chemicals. Thank you all for visiting the Flaherty Lab, and we hope to see you on campus soon. Thank you.